As an athlete, you're surely to come across supplements at some point. You'll probably even consider adding some to your fitness routine. But there are so many supplements out there. They can't all be as effective as they claim to be, right? Exactly, which is why we'll avoid focusing on any brand in particular and look at the types of supplements most helpful for athletes. So that's what we'll focus on in this video. The six research-backed and most helpful sports supplements. First up, we have one of the most common stimulants of all time, caffeine. It is the world's most widely consumed psychoactive. That includes over 80% of Americans who say that they take some form of caffeine every day. If you rely on caffeine to wake up and keep you going, you aren't alone. Caffeine is used daily by millions of people to increase wakefulness, alleviate fatigue, and improve concentration and focus. But did you know that your cup of coffee has ergogenic effects that can help enhance performance and endurance activities? Studies have shown caffeine to lead to improvements in performance for endurance athletes, benefits for trained athletes engaging in high intensity sports. There's also been positive research for its effects on strength or power-based exercises, as well as helping release stored fat from fat cells before and after workouts. When supplementing with caffeine to maximize performance, start low to assess your tolerance. Dose is often based on body weight, set at approximately 1.4 to 2.7 milligrams per pound of body weight, or three to six milligrams per kilogram. This is about 200 to 400 milligrams for most people, although some studies use up to 600 to 900 milligrams. At a sensible dose, caffeine can provide many benefits with few side effects, but it may be unsuitable for some people, for whom too much caffeine may exhibit the following side effects, increased heart rate, dizziness, irritability, anxiety, insomnia or sleep disruption, and stomach discomfort. Next up, we have another familiar face, protein. Protein plays an important role in an athlete's diet as it helps repair and strengthen muscle tissue. High protein diets are popular among athletes, especially those seeking a leaner, more defined physique. But not all protein is created equal. Simply put, whey and casein proteins are the best options as they contain all nine essential amino acids. While soy protein, pea protein, and other plant-based proteins do not contain all nine. Studies have shown protein too, and enhance muscle repair and growth when high quality protein is taken within two hours after exercise. Duration and intensity are also factors when it comes to protein needs. As far as recommended daily protein intake goes, for average adults, it's around 0.8 grams per kilogram or 2.2 pounds of body weight per day. For strength training athletes, it's around 1.4 to 1.8 grams per kilogram, or 2.2 pounds of body weight per day. And for endurance athletes, it's about 1.2 to 1.4 grams per kilogram, or 2.2 pounds of body weight per day. How important are powders and supplements in protein consumption? Most athletes can get the recommended amount of protein through food alone, without the use of supplements. Protein powders and supplements are great for convenience, but are not necessary, even for elite athletic performance. For example, protein powders can be useful when athletes need immediate protein right after a workout and don't have time for a meal. Next up, we have creatine, probably one of the most misunderstood supplements, which is peculiar as it has been studied for 200 years and is one of the most scientifically supported supplements on the market. In fact, the International Society of Sports Nutrition claims that creatine monohydrate is the most effective supplement on the market for enhancing capacity for high intensity exercise. Creatine helps produce ATP, your cell's most basic form of energy. This increases energy production during high intensity exercise and and leads to improved performance and increased strength and muscle gain. When it comes to athletics, creatine supplements have been shown to enhance high intensity exercise performance by up to 15%. The majority of studies show that creatine can improve strength and power for both seasoned athletes and beginners. The current short-term research suggests that creatine supplements provide little or no direct benefit to endurance performance. When it comes to supplementing with creatine, the most studied and proven form is creatine monohydrate, with hundreds of studies to support its safety and effectiveness. A loading phase is the fastest way to maximize the amount of creatine in the muscles. It involves taking a high dose for a few days and then a lower dose after that. This usually means 20 to 25 grams of creatine per day in five gram doses for five to seven days. Then this is followed with a maintenance dose of three to five grams per day. Next on our list is sodium bicarbonate, which sounds all super scientific, right? Perhaps you've heard of it by its other name, baking soda. 
It's an alkaline salt, easily found in its white powder form in most supermarkets. It has many uses, ranging from cooking to cleaning and personal hygiene. However, it may also provide some interesting health benefits. It clears acid out of muscle cells, helping restore an optimal pH. This may decrease fatigue and increase performance. Many athletes and gym goers use it to help them perform during intense training. When it comes to sports performance, scientists have examined how sodium bicarbonate affects exercise performance for more than eight decades. Not all studies published to date show the same effects, but the majority agree that it is beneficial, especially for high intensity exercises that last between one and seven minutes and involve large muscle groups. Most improvements seem to take place near the end of a workout. Studies have also looked at how it affects interval training and found that sodium bicarbonate helped prevent decreases in performance, generally leading to overall improvements of 1.7 to 8%. May be beneficial to sports like judo, swimming, boxing, and tennis. Sodium bicarbonate may also improve muscle coordination and increase strength. For example, one study found that it helped maintain tennis players' swing accuracy. Another study found similar benefits for boxers' punch accuracy. As far as supplementing with sodium bicarbonate goes, most studies agree that a dose of 90 to 135 milligrams per pound, or 200 to 300 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, produces benefits. It should be taken 60 to 90 minutes before exercise. You may also find it helpful to take your dose earlier than 90 minutes before exercise if you experience stomach problems. As far as side effects go, intake of sodium bicarbonate is generally considered safe when taken in the recommended dosages. However, it may cause unpleasant side effects and is not recommended for everyone. Not everyone will experience these side effects. The severity of symptoms can vary based on the amount taken and personal sensitivity. Next up, we have betaine, a chemical that occurs naturally in the body. It can also be found in foods such as beets, spinach, cereals, seafood, and wine. The main reasons people supplement with betaine are to improve heart health, to improve digestion, and to increase exercise performance and gain muscle and strength faster. Its cardiovascular and digestive benefits are well established and understood, but its effects on physical performance and muscle growth not so much as of yet. Studies do show that betaine can be a valuable addition to your regimen, and research indicates that supplementing with betaine can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, improve liver function and digestion, improve muscle performance and body composition, enhance body composition, arm size, bench press work capacity, and power, as was the case when tested on individuals completing a weightlifting program. As far as the clinically effective dose of betaine goes, 1,000 to 6,000 milligrams per day was used in studies that reported positive results for exercise performance, muscle gain, and fat loss. In healthy people, side effects are rare with betaine supplementation. Some people can experience diarrhea or nausea, but this isn't common. If you're taking medications for liver or heart disease, or are at high risk of heart disease, consult your doctor before taking. Last, but certainly not least on our list is beetroot. Beets are a rich source of potent antioxidants and is also high in nitrate levels. Nitrate is a chemical naturally occurring in certain foods and is converted into nitric oxide when consumed. Nitric oxide is a gas that is naturally present in our body. Research shows nitric oxide can increase blood flow, improve lung function, and strengthen muscle contraction. Athletes supplement with beet juice for improved cardiorespiratory endurance and performance. Some of the sports specific findings from various studies have shown results such as providing a competitive edge for athletes and improved performance by almost 16%, enhancing aerobic performance in both trained male and female athletes, helping maintain exercise intensity from 60 to 80% significantly longer during exercise with beet juice supplementation. As far as dosage goes, most research was conducted using a 500 milliliter beetroot supplement for best ergogenic results. This is approximately two cups of juice or 384 grams. And the most common side effect reported was beet urea, known as red urine and red stools. Well, that wraps up our list of the best supplements for athletes to consider. The desire to improve your performance shouldn't bench common sense. Athletes can get caught by surprise by unknowingly ingesting banned substances. Thankfully, there are third-party companies working to certify that supplements do contain what they claim to and that they do not contain any banned substances. NSF International and Banned Substances Control Group are two organizations doing just this. If you see the NSF sticker on any supplement, that means that they have been tested and 
approved by this agency. In addition to the quality of a supplement, it is also important to consult with your doctor when beginning any sort of supplement regime. Some supplements may have drug interactions, and a medical professional should determine if it is appropriate for you to consume such supplements. One last thing before you get back on the field, please help us to improve our performance by hitting the like, subscribe, and the notification button below. Thanks for watching!